Welcome back for part 2 of What If Anakin Stayed in the Light. If you haven't seen part 1, I recommend you go watch that first before watching this video. The link will be in the description below. Silence dropped over Anakin, Ahsoka and Rex, before the words registered in their minds. They break into a sprint to alert the others, but they already know. Sending a transmission to Bail Organa, the first step for the Jedi is to find temporary shelter. Heading back outside, Anakin carries the exhausted Padme, whilst Ahsoka holds the twins. Not only do they need a ship, but they need one which can carry the entire group. An encounter was inevitable. Searching on foot, the streets only consist of clones, which Yoda silently disposes of. Now in a large area, they can just make out the outline of the burning Jedi Temple. Perhaps there will be a large enough ship there. There was, however, the small matter of a large battalion of clones defending the perimeter. Obi-Wan stroked his beard in thought. With the help of Yoda, Obi-Wan levitates a burning pillar into a line of 20 clones, getting the attention of most of the others. The Jedi use this moment to their advantage, and dart into the front entrance of the temple, force pushing any remaining clones into the inferno. Heading inside, they do their best to not look at the litany of bodies scattered across the hallways, but the smoke is their biggest problem, blocking their intended route. Obi-Wan jumps across several platforms, before finding a way for them to get through. The ground beneath them begins to crumble, as they finally make their way out to the hangar. There is only one space gunship, but one is all they need. Anakin leaves Padme in Obi-Wan's hands, and begins to maneuver the ship. The skies are empty, with all of the clones focused on the ground search, helping Anakin guide the ship to space, and to the ship of Bail Organa. The cruiser helps provide some respite for the demoralized Jedi, but more importantly, temporary surprise for Luke and Leia. Whoever survived would be able to pass on what they had learned. Travelling towards Alderaan at a steady speed to not be suspicious, the ship arrives. Immediately, the Organas take the Jedi to their palace, but are stopped by a screech echoing off of every one of the inner city's walls. Again, it is the voice of Sidious. The Empire was coming, and any resistance would be futile. Yet again, Sidious was one step ahead of the Jedi. Sidious's voice dies down, and Bail Organa issues a planet-wide broadcast for everyone to stay in their homes, were they to survive. The next few minutes are dominated by the sound of civilian panic and screams as they scramble to safety. But finally, all falls silent before a large shadow replaced the blue skies. A massive star destroyer now dominated the planet. The Jedi reach out the Force and do well not to be overwhelmed by the darkness of Sidious, but they can also sense another, one which seems familiar. The Jedi ready their lightsabers just as they see a dozen low altitude assault carriers moving towards the surface. The Jedi split up and begin their defence. Hiding in the rooftops of the residence, the Jedi leap out and surprise the carriers of clones, providing them with an early edge. But then the Jedi felt it. The darkness. Two ships clad with imposing decal hissed to an ominous landing. The remaining clones and Jedi's now stood on opposing sides, watching as two figures stepped onto the ground from their respective shuttles. One was of course Sidious, the other pushed a button on their mask and revealed the Miri Allen formerly known as Baris Sophie. Ahsoka's countenance darkened. She had a personal score to settle. Sidious did nothing, apart from move his hand slightly, and an entire column began to fall towards the Jedi, but they deflected it to the side. But in the effort of doing so, the clones begin to fire, and it was only thanks to Rex that the Jedi dodged the hits. Surging forwards with his dual DC-17 blaster pistols, he eliminated his former colleagues with surgical precision, and showed just why he had been held in such high regard. They all had a choice, and his was now to help the Jedi. But looking from afar, he felt hopeless watching Ahsoka slide across the pavement, Barriss's eyes bearing into the struggling Togruta, who was still recuperating from her experiences on Mandalore. Rex feels a wind swirl above him, and sees Anakin leap off one leg and clash blades with Barris. Rex knew there would only be one outcome. Similar to their battle in the temple courtyard, the general lifted her in the air and slammed her against a tree, but this time sliced her head cleanly off the former Jedi, dropping to the floor with a dull thud and rolling to the feet of Sidious. Sidious glanced upwards and saw Anakin. The Sith Lord laughed. How foolish of young Skywalker. And now he would pay for refusing to become his apprentice. Thoughts of all of the other Jedi now forgotten, Sidious booted Barriss' head towards Anakin, which the Tatooine native dissected with sadistic content. Sidious recycled the dismembered limbs of the clones back towards Anakin, along with his infamous force stunning attack, but was met by several blades from behind him. He had been so tunnel visioned that he had forgotten the Jedi working in harmony. A brief reflection of relief followed, and was broken by Ahsoka staggering to her feet. Yoda shook his head. One so young should not have gone through what she had to go through. Offering his hand, once more, he offered Ahsoka the chance to return to the Jedi Order as a knight. 
Ahsoka looked at Anakin and smirked, refusing Yoda's offer. Anakin is offered the rank of Master, and also refuses. Leaving the Jedi to ponder on this development, Anakin and Ahsoka headed back to the palace. Just because he had killed the Sith Lord, did not mean he was a Jedi. That is it for what if Anakin stayed in the light. If you enjoyed this, please like this video, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe for more tiffs. And as always, leave a comment on what if you'd like to see next, and how I can improve my videos. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.